Hello, we're going to look at topic 1.10, division with two-digit divisors. So we're going to do long division today with a two-digit divisor. So we have the same rules as a single digit, but now we're going to be looking at two digits instead. Let's review the steps of long division. You can use the members of the family to help you to remember the steps. So dad stands for divide. Mom stands for multiply, sister stands for subtract, brother bring down, and rover is the repeat or remainder step. So we have five steps and sometimes we have to go through these five steps multiple times to be able to long divide. Let's get right into some practice on page 65. We have the 1.10 do together section. We're going to solve the following. Number one, we have 231 divided by 21. We need to rewrite this showing 21 as our divisor outside and 231 as our dividend inside the house. So we're gonna follow the same steps, except this time we have 21 on the outside. We know 21 doesn't go into two, so I'm at dad step but 21 does go into 23 one time. Now we're at mom. One times 21 is 21. Now sister, subtract. Subtract 23 minus 21 is two. And brother, bring down. We bring down this one and we take a look. Do we need to repeat? Yes, we do. So we go back to the beginning, back to dad. 21 into 21. How many times? It goes one whole time. Step mom. 1 times 21 is 21. Sister, subtract. 21 minus 21 is 0. And at brother, there's nothing to bring down. So that means we're finished and we have a 0 remainder here. So our answer, 231 divided by 21, we get a quotient of 11. And if you'd like, you can write remainder of zero, but you don't have to if you have a remainder of zero. Number two, we have 40 into 440. So they set up the long division for us. Now we're going to go ahead. 40 into 4, no. So we're at the division step. 40 into 44. How many times does 40 go into 44? Only once. Mom, let's multiply. 1 times 40 is 40. Sister, let's subtract. 44 minus 40 is 4. Brother, bring down. Bring down this 0. 40 into 40. We have to repeat the process. We're back to dad. 40 into 40 goes once. 1 times 40, mom, is 40. Sister, 40 minus 40 is zero. So we're getting the same quotient, 11 with a remainder of zero for number two. Let's carry on. Question number three up on page 66. We have 242 divided by 11. Let's rewrite it using our long division symbol. 11 is our divisor, goes outside. 242 is our dividend. 11 does not go into two. So we divide 11 into 24, or 24 divided by 11. How many times does 11 go into 24? Two times. Step mom, we multiply. 2 times 11 is 22. We subtract. 4 minus 2 is 2. 2 minus 2 is nothing. And brother, we bring down. Well, we've been here before. How many times does 11 go into 22? It goes twice. Mom, 2 times 11 is 22. Sister, we subtract it out. And because we filled up all three spaces, we've got nothing more to bring down, we're finished. Our quotient is 22, remainder of zero. Number four, we're going to write it using long division. 384 divided by 12. 12 is our divisor. 384 
is our dividend. We divide that 12 into 3, no, 12 into 38. Now sometimes you have to do some scratch work on the side. So you might have to multiply by 2, and you see that that's 24, too low. 20, 12 divided by, sorry, 12 multiplied by 3 is 36. Oh, that's close. That's what I want. So I put my 3 up here. And the mom step, 3 times 12 is 36. And so now we're ready for sister. We subtract. 8 minus 6 is 2. And now we're at brother. We bring down this 4. 12 into 24. We're repeating the process. Aha, over here on the side, I saw that I got 24 when I multiplied by 2. So 2 times and 2 times 12 is 24. Sister, I subtract, and again, a zero remainder. Now, we don't always get zero remainder, so we're going to look at some where you get a remainder, and then we can also talk about some zero questions. Let's go into exercise 1.10 and do number 1 and 2 together. So number 1, they've set up the long division for us, 3 into 906. So we are back to single digits here. Just want to review what happens with zeros, though, before we get into some double digits. So 3 goes into 9 how many times? 3 times. 3 times 3 is 9. We subtract, and we get a 0. Now our next step is brother. We need to bring down. And we see that when we repeat the process, we are now doing 3 into 0. When this happens, your answer is going to be zero times. Well, three doesn't go into zero. So you place a zero above, and then instead of multiplying and subtracting with zeros, what you can do to save yourself some work is go right to bringing down the next number. Now, certainly you can multiply, subtract the zero, and keep with your steps. It depends on if you're ready or not to take a shortcut, but this is a shortcut method. I bring down the 6, and now I go ahead to dividing again. 3 goes into 6 two times. 2 times 3 is 6. I subtract, and I have a remainder of 0 and a quotient of 302. For number 2, we have 550 divided by 5. So they've set up the long division for us. We go ahead with dad, 5 goes into 5 one time, mom, 1 times 5 is 5, sister, subtract, 5 minus 5 is 0, brother, bring down, and then rover, repeat, dad, 5 goes into 5 one time again, 1 times 5 for mom is 5, subtract, sister, 5 minus 5 is 0, Brother, bring down the zero. And at this point, we're ready to repeat. We still have to fill up all our spaces. So we ask ourselves, we go back to division. Does five go into zero? It does not. So we place a zero here. And at this point, we can be finished because if we multiply zero times five, we're going to get zero, put below, subtract. We're just going to be subtracting zeros. So at this point, you can end. So those are a couple of shortcut methods. Zeros can sometimes give headaches, so we have to be comfortable that they can come in the middle of a quotient or at the end of a quotient. Let's jump ahead now in the exercise to questions 11 and 12. This time we're going to be doing a double digit divisor, and then we'll be looking at a single digit divisor. Number 11 is 93 divided by 31. So 31 is our divisor going on the outside, and 93 is our dividend. And we see that 31 does not go into 9, but 31 does go into 93. So again, you may need to do some scratch work on the side, especially when the numbers get larger. 3 times 1 and 3 times 3. So it does go perfectly three times. 
So that's my dad step, division. Mum step, multiplication, 3 times 31, which is the work you did on the side, is 93. Sister, we subtract, and there's nothing to bring down. So we have a small quotient of 3 with a remainder of 0. For number 12, we have the division shown in the fraction format. A fraction format is fine, but we're doing long division, so we're going to take that denominator, that 2, that's our divisor, put it on the outside, and the 72 is our dividend. We go ahead and start our steps. 2 goes into 7. How many times? goes 3 times. 3 times 2 is 6. We subtract. 7 minus 6 is 1. We bring down. We now have 12. We repeat the process. 2 goes into 12. How many times? Perfectly. 6 times. 6 times 2 is 12. We subtract. And again, we get a 0 remainder. Lastly, we're going to look at some pretty big numbers here. They don't need to be scary. If we know the steps, we can divide anything. Number 25, we have 54 as our divisor and 19,386 as our dividend. So now we're going to just go right ahead and see where we end up. We're going to do 54 into 1. That's a no. 54 into 19. No way. 54 into 193. So at this point, you're going to be trying some numbers. Okay. You can be thinking about the first number, 5, and the next number, 19, that you passed up. And you can look at smaller numbers to give a guess. Like 5 goes into 19 three times. So maybe I should start with a 3 for 54 into 193. So I'm going to try that. So I'm going to try to multiply by 3 first and see where I end up. 3 times 4 is 12. Carry my 1. 3 times 5 is 15. Plus 1 is 16. 162. Wow, that looks good, because if I add another 50 to that, I'm going to be higher than 190. So I do a little bit of kind of mental rounding and some guesswork to get my quotient. So I've done the work on the side, which really helps when I'm at the mom step. Multiplying 3 times 54 is 162, and now I subtract. I'm at sister. 3 times 2 is 1. 9, sorry, 3 minus 2 is 1. 9 minus 6 is 3. And we're ready to bring down. We always want to check when we subtract. Here I have 31. That's smaller than 54. If we're at 54 or bigger, then that means we've made a mistake. So I'm going to bring down this 8. And we have 318. So again, I'm going to ask myself, well, how many times does 5 go into 31? So I can get a guess. We'll go 6 times. So let me try 6 and see where I end up. 6 times 4 is 24. 6 times 5 is 30, plus 2 is 32. Oh, that's too big. So let me do another one. 54 times 5. I'm going to 5 times 4 is 20. 5 times 5 is 25, plus 2, 27. So it's going to be a 5. I multiply 270, and I subtract 8, 4, 48, and I bring down one more. 486, I look at what I've got. Oh, these are all too low. 5 goes into 48 how many times? That goes 9 times. So I'm going to guess it's a 9, and I'm going to do the scratch work on the side. 9 times 4 is 36. 9 times 5 is 45, plus 3 is 48. And look at that. Beautiful. Same number, 0 remainder. So those big ones can be a bit scary, but you just take them step by step. So now you can go ahead and try the exercises, and if you need help, you can email me. Have a great day.